Hey everyone, this is Aris, and today we are going to talk about how you can find affiliates to help you sell your products using the best influencer marketing tool on the planet, Ninja Outreach. There are two ways now you can find um, affiliates for the business. The first one is via the commotion opportunities, and the second one is via the social influencers. Also, we are going to talk about the uh, template that we've used in the past to look for affiliates to promote us and to help us sell Ninja Outreach, um, as well as setting up the campaigns for this. Now, to start with, just go to the Promotion Opportunities tab and then type in a search. First, you have to think of those websites or those blogs that are being frequented by your potential buyers. For example, if I sell a product that is being used by um, kids or children or babies, then obviously um, I have to sell it not exactly to them, but to their mothers or fathers, you know, to mom and dad. So those kinds of blogs and websites. Let's say, for example, let's search for mommy blogs. Let's just use the search phrase mommy and then use the filter blogger. And then as soon as the results populate um, what you want to be doing is you want to click on this filter and then under all featured pages select product reviews this is a very common uh, tactic for affiliates to promote a product uh, and that is by doing some product reviews so you want to be looking at mommy bloggers who have done product reviews if your product is about is if your product is sold to children or to kids so just go ahead and check each product review that they have um, published and also giveaways. And that's also another way that they're promoting um, products, which is via giveaways. You can see that here. You can use that filter in here as well. And just save them all in the list. And then once you've saved all those who qualified, uh, let's just, for example, save the first 50 leads in here. Let's just say, for example, that um, all these 50 leads that I have in here are qualified based on my criteria. Let's just save them all in the list. All right, let's say I've used up all the available um, influencers that I have or bloggers that I have for a particular keyword. What I want to do now is either I use another keyword or niche related to what I'm looking for, or I can go to the social influencers tab in here. I can either type affiliates and search for uh, general affiliate marketers for the diff different niche people who are trying to prom who are promoting different kinds of products. Most some of them may be promoting web-based products, or some of them may be promoting physical products. If you type in affiliate in here, it's going to search for their bio or their profile for this exact term. So what happens is that I get search results of about 3,500 leads in here. And then I can skim through all these leads and see which one qualifies, depending on my criteria, criteria, of course. If I'm still looking for mommy bloggers, then definitely I should just I should just type in mommy in the search, and then I'll have all the mom bloggers in here. The problem with this is that you don't exactly know if they are going to write a product review or run a giveaway or become your affiliate, but it's a good way of finding qualified leads that you can reach out to um, in an attempt to make them your affiliate. So let's say save the first 50 to the list that we've created. And then the next thing that we want to do after we've qualified all the leads that we have for our affiliate marketing campaign is that we want to go to the templates and then prepare our template. And then let's look at an example template that we have used in the past and discuss the parts which are very important. You can also use this template, you can edit it to fit your need, but the important parts in here are what you're offering them, of course the affiliate commission, and if you're running a product review or a giveaway campaign, what, is, what are you willing to give to their, to their audience, as well as what's in it for them, really, that's, that's where it boils down to. If, the art, if your email answers that question, what's in it for them, then you have a higher chance of getting a reply depending on how tempting your offer is. In here, we used to offer, I mean, we're offering 50% monthly recurring commission to people who are willing to promote our product. And then I included here the price of the product that we're selling, 
and uh, it's been a while since we last ran an affiliate campaign because honestly we don't at this point I don't think uh, we need it but then again as you can see in the price it's between $19 and $149 that was way way back in any case there's another template that you can use in here uh, it's a pre-written template that you can just load and edit it works the same way it's a guest posting template but at the same time you can use it to you can use it to run your affiliate marketing campaign you just have to edit it uh, and tailor it according to your need especially if you're just starting you can change this this part right here it says we just launched and we're looking to get the word out through um, guest posts, podcast appearances, and product reviews. You have to delete this part here. So I'm editing it in real time. I'd be happy to give you what are you willing to give them. Let's change this to something like this highlighted part right here is where you pitch in your offer to these product reviewers, to these potential affiliates. And then in exchange, what do you want them to do? Actually, let's put that at the, in, in here in the beginning. In exchange for a product review, I'd be happy to give you what are you willing to, to give them. And lastly, please let me know if there's anything of yours that I can promote for you. I'm happy to share my social accounts and my audience. And um, you may include this here if you have actually followed them on their Twitter. If they have a Twitter profile, you can include it here. Let's use a custom field for this Twitter Twitter URL so I can stay updated. Thanks, your name. This is something that you need to change. Uh, let's change to my name. Um, so hi, first name. This is a custom field and a fallback. If they don't have a, uh, the first name, it will go. It will say hey there, and then my name is, and then my name is your name, your blog URL, as well as your service or tool or product and what it does. So again, boils down to three different things, an introduction to what your product is and what you're looking to do and what you're willing to give them in return. And then let's save it. Next thing that we want to do is we want to um, go to the auto sending to set up the campaign when you're ready and then click on schedule a campaign and then simply select the list, affiliates and select the email that you want to use for this outreach campaign and then the template. You have the option to um, either send it now, send it later, choose the dates when you want the emails to go out and the time and add a couple of follow-ups if you have that ready. Just select the follow-ups from the drop-down and then, and then check your leads, see if there's anything um, that you need to edit or change. Just click on check prospects or check leads. And then the next thing that I want to do is to click this um, button right here and then just click this slider. So they, those that has missing fields will be excluded. If I can edit it in uh, by checking the leads, if I don't have a Twitter URL, I can simply exclude them. And then the next thing that I want to do is to simply click on launch the campaign, wait for the replies. That's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. And remember, if you have any questions, just click on this chat bubble over to the right of your screen and send us a message. Again, my name is Aris and you can find me at aris at ninjaoutreach.com and thank you for your time.